go get a burger. I'm starving. So you guys were here the whole time? Yes. Even tough guys need me time. Whatever. You're treating us to lunch now. Hey, we didn't agree to that. Get in, dummy. We've been watching you, sis. You really screwed up this time. Come on, let's go see Pops. I mean, our beloved father. The man who single-handedly built up the San Wakai Empire from nothing. Decides to put his daughter in charge of things while he does a short stretch in the local pen. The very shortest of incarceration vacations. And what does this daughter do? She gets her ass handed to her by a pair of teenage girls. Oh, and also allows them to take down our entire syndicate in the process. A pair of schoolgirls. I gotta be honest, Sabi. I can't think of anything more embarrassing. I mean, you really blew this one, you know? Obviously, Dad should have left me in charge. I'm sure he sees that now. Sure, you're his blood and all, but sometimes blood don't run so deep. Of course, I'm sure he'll fix that right now. I gotta be honest, I've been waiting my whole life for you to face plant like this. I might even take a selfie to commemorate the moment. Here she is, Pop. Found her in the trash, literally. I mean, she was actually lying in a pile of... Oi! Y yes sir! You got it, Pops! I hate it when you call me that. Sabuko, daughter, is what your brother says true? Did you bring shame on our family? On our organization? I thought you would be ready. I thought you'd be more reliable than your screw-up brother, Ken. Oh. <laughs> I was wrong! Time to take matters back into my own hands. Oh, man, that was epic. I mean, I knew he was gonna embarrass the crap out of you, but that was bad. <laughs> ah, crap. I forgot to take a selfie. Oh crap, we're late for class! It's not my fault! You were the one who wanted to stop for double chocolate donuts! Okay, it's sort of my fault. All these lockers are in the way! Stupid lockers! So jump over... ...for them. Oh yeah! I forgot that's a thing we can do. How do we get that book? It's way high up there. You need to run, then jump off the wall. What do I look like? Some poor car expert? Are you trying to say parkour? Uh, no? You! That big bully spitting spit wads at us. Quit it, nerd! What were you children doing out of class? Did you not hear the bell? No, but that's probably because we got here after it rang. We're like super late today. Not helping. Hmm. Hurry to your desk and watch yourselves. I'll be keeping a knife on you. Don't you mean I? That's what I said. Are you questioning me? Perhaps this would be best discussed after hours in the principal's office. No, we're good. One of us just has cheese in their ears. I'm a very messy eater. We won't be late next time, Miss Megumi. Well, I'm sure of it, children. Tardiness won't be tolerated. That's gonna be one week detention. What? That's not fair. Who is this guy anyway? Talking back to a teacher. Another week. You can't do that! Yeah, we just wanted donuts! I can do whatever I want, being that my family runs this school now. Well, I don't even know who you are, so take your detention and cram it! 
They were very delicious donuts. And now you're expelled. Ryuji, Ryuichi, would you mind showing these students the window? What's with the K-pop crew? Don't you mean show us the door? Nope. Well, at least we finished the school stage quicker this time. What do you mean? Nothing. Attempt at meta humor. Something super weird is going on at this school. Like, more than usual, I mean. No doubt. Should we find out what's up? That sounds exhausting. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. Let's go back to my place. Maybe if we play some video games, we'll think of a solution. How's your video game going? Great, Mom! Don't miss that power-up! Right, got it! Were you two planning on taking a break sometime this month? Why bother? Yeah, those crummy Yakuza took over our school. No point in ever going back there. Well, I did hear a sequel to Vampire Puncher was just released. What? This morning, in fact. That game store at the mall should have a few copies. And here we are still playing the original like a pair of chumps. Yeah, everyone knows that sequels are always better. Let's get to the mall before they sell out. Have fun, kids. Try not to kill anyone. Hey, those chumps finally decided to show their faces again. We were all paid good money to make sure you don't get in the way again. Get our game, and get back here as fast as possible. Ugh, can we make... Seems. Ooh, when you get there, you should try their new mocha durian wheatgrass smoothies. That sounds disgusting. It is. Well, we're looking for the game store. Know where it is? Video games or tabletop games? Table what? We don't need furniture. No, it's like with game boards and D20s and little Peter figures of elves and warriors. I understand maybe three of those words. Never mind. Video game store is at the other end of the mall. I'll mark it on your phone. Thanks. Don't get beat up, okay? Later, Cowrie! Wait, you guys still wanna hang for a while first? <sighs> they never wanna hang. What you need? What up, bro, Seth? You ready to break a leg? Oh, hey! You two heading inside the mall? Stranger danger! Chill, dude. What's it to you, Bob? Some Yakuza gang apparently took over all the stores. Even the fashion stores? We're here for a video game, remember? Even the video game store? I can't. Never stopped there. But they got that whole mall locked down. Why are you telling us this? Well, it looks like you two could use some protection. That's a laugh. Yeah, we beat up like everyone in town. Impressive! Well, if you need another pair of fists and you got some cash, drop by any time. I'll help you clear that whole place of Yakuza's gun. Hmm. Well, keep it in mind. Hey, buddy. You looking for a sparring partner? I'm your guy. There sure are a hell of a lot of Yakuza in here. Even more than a typical weekend. 
Maybe there's a sale. Is it Black Friday? We're not going shopping right now. We're here for one video game, then back home. Fashion doesn't just happen, you know. You have to work at it. For now, try working and clobbering these henchmen with me. Yeah, okay. Next stop, the video game store. OMG, look what's playing at the movie theater! We really shouldn't. Please? Okay, next stop, a movie. Then, the video game store. Yes! We meet again, huh? Ew, it's that weird teacher from school. The one that expelled us. And threw us out a window. Oh yeah, not cool, dude. The name's Ken, and my father, Sabu, runs this town now. He's the mayor? I didn't know he had a mayor. He's not the mayor. He's the head of the San Wakai Criminal Organization. Aren't criminals not supposed to refer to themselves as criminals? Eh, I'm not one for pomp and circumstances. Pom-poms and circus dances? You two shamed my family by defeating my embarrassing sister in battle. Isuzu? Havari? Noise? Sabuko. Oh, she was my next guest. Yeah, mine too. So now, I've been tasked by my father to humiliate and defeat the two of you in that order. I humiliated you by expelling you from your school. <laughs> Seriously? I don't even go to that school. What's humiliating about getting a two-month vacation from books and learning? True that. Anyway, now it's time to kill you both. Per my, uh, father's plan, which is now unfolding. I mean, you can try. But that usually doesn't work out too well for people. Oh, we shall see. with the wrong family. Oh, you two aren't half bad. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, we told you. Maybe he's got wax in his ears. He does look a little grimy. Allow me to put a bullet between yours. Between our what? Eyes, maybe? Ears! Between your ears? You just said ears, so that's where I'm gonna shoot you now. Maybe he does got wax in his ears. A bullet between the ears? That's not a saying. <sighs> Apparently there's more of you than I expected. Whatever. Ken out! Well, that was confusing. Yeah, I'm not even so sure that guy is a teacher, you know? What's it say? Guess we're headed back to North Ravine Lane. So, who do you think it was that stopped Ken from killing us? Guess we'll find out soon enough. Ah! Hello, children. It's that Yakuza lady. The one we kicked through the window. And we'll do it again if you start any trouble. Kick me through a window? We are in a street. Yeah, well... Dang it, she's got me there. Maybe we could meet up later at our penthouse? Silence! I'm not here to fight you. Oh, that's a relief, because we are way rusty on our training. Don't tell her that. You two caused me some minor embarrassment. I wouldn't call it minor. But it is my father and brother who must pay for how they treated me. I don't think she's going to kill us. Yeah, I'm getting that sense. So then, what do you want from us? Also, thanks for stopping your brother. You can't reach my father. Not yet, anyway. To get inside Sawakai Tower where he waits, you must first acquire the emblems of each of his disciples. Bicycles? She said bicycles! Pay attention. Forget it. We will start with Ken. To destroy my brother, 
he must prove him a failure to my father. And there's nothing my father loves more than his wealth. I bet they've got all kinds of gold cats in their house. We do. Head across town to River City Bank. My father owns it now. It's where my father launders his money. Stop his men from making their deposit and await further instructions. Why should we do anything for you? Because for once, our mutual adversaries are in alignment. Uh... You can keep the money. How you're talking? I can't get through here yet. I could tear through the gate with my dragon kit. Do you remember how to do that? <laughs> nope. Let's come back later. Hey, Yoko. Sup? What are you doing out here? It's a free country. No, we mean... Anyway, how's it going? Not bad. Just trying to kick these Nimrods into shape for the upcoming dodgeball tournament. Hey, you're pretty tough, right, Yoko? You know it. Wanna help us beat up a bunch of Yakuza around town? These jerks are all over the city. It's really annoying. How did this even happen? Can't. Why? I just said, I'm stuck training these yokels. Oh, yeah. But if you can help me out, I'll owe you a solid when I got more time. Sure thing. Doing what? I just said, training these dingbats. Oh, yeah. Sure, we'll help you out. Cool. Head out on the court and let's get this game going. Hey, nice job. You actually did okay out there. We are pretty athletic. I wouldn't go that far. I owe you guys, though. Anytime you need my help. Will you join our gang? I'm too busy training these goons, remember? Oh, yeah. We gotta go save the city now. See you around, Yoko. Hurry up, you goons. We gotta get these bags into the vault and get back to the tower fast. Look, it's that guy again. Oh, jeez. These two again? Can't I ever get a break? Didn't you blow up in that explosion at Samurakai Tower? I run very fast. Apparently. Anyway, we need to take those bags of money from you now. Yeah, that ain't happening. Know why? Because it's my job to get every last bag off the truck and into that vault. And I always get the job done. Like back at the tower? Oh, that doesn't count! Now hurry up, fellas. We need to get all 12 bags of money into that vault. Not six, not eight, all 12. Or else these kids succeed in their mission, you could say. Does he always talk like this? Apparently. Ready to kick some more Yakuza butt? Apparently. What's wrong? You've got that mopey face, like when someone takes away a kitten you're petting. I was just thinking, isn't it wrong to rob from a bank? It's not from the bank. They're moving the money through there illegally. I guess. But it's still not ours, right? Not yet, anyway. Besides, if we get a little extra scratch out of this, we can finally afford to buy some new video games. I guess that's true. Well, that wasn't too tough. And hey, we made some cash, too. I wonder why Sabu is trying to take over the town. You think too much. Oh, hey! It's you two. Please don't tell me that's... Yep, it's Godai. Uh, the one and only. Except no substitutions. I'd accept a refund. By the way, I saw you two take out that Yakuza crew at the bank. Very impressive. How'd you see that? Oh, well, uh, you know, I like to keep my eyes around town. <laughs> Speaking of, you two sure are dressed sharp today. I don't like where this is going. I got a proposition for you. Does it involve my foot in your neck? <laughs> uh, maybe later. Anyway, I'm working on a secret photography project. How's about you two take selfies of yourselves around town? Why? Why not? Should be what you're asking. Why, you creepy little skunk? F for my project. Anyway, I'll give you a big prize. Snap photos of yourselves around town and you'll learn something real special. I don't trust him. Me either. But we could use some extra cash. 
Okay, doormat. How do we take these selfies? With the cameras on your cell phones, of course. Why do we keep agreeing to stuff like this? Back to Uptown again. Yay! And no, we can't go shopping. Aww. Do you think that Ken guy was lying about Yakuza taking over the entire city? Not sure. Let's go beat up some bad guys and find out. Wait, where are we? I thought we were headed to downtown. This is downtown, apparently. Wow, it's, uh, different. A lot less, uh... garbage -y? Yeah, and kind of trendy. I don't like it. We don't belong here. Hey, look, it's a kid. Don't touch him. He looks angsty. I am angsty. See? No one understands the depths of my despair. Yep, that's pretty angsty. What you doing here, kid? Stuff? What do you care? We don't. But typically, people we run into give us some kind of useful info or something. Yeah, got any for us? We're all gonna die, and nothing we do before then matters. That's not very helpful. Never said I was. Now take off! Listen, you little hooded sack of emo. We're trying to stop the Yakuza from taking over all our favorite spots. Better not have taken over the b-ball court yet. Besides, this helps you too, seeing as how you live here. Fine. There's some mysterious woman with legendary abs who's taken over downtown. If you find her, maybe she can help you out. Any idea where in downtown? Try the basketball court. The local Yakuza team usually plays there around now, and she usually clears them out soon after. Thanks, kid. You're a lot more helpful than you look. I'm a smoldering inferno of apathy. You sure are. See ya. Oh, hey! I know that voice. We're leaving. Stop, be nice. Nope, I am not putting up with one more single minute of... Mihoko, it's so good to see you. Likewise, what brings you two out here? Oh, you know, beating people up, taking back our usual hangout spots from those dumb Yakuza jerks. Same as usual. Totally! Where's your little doggy? Oh, Molly McMuffins? She was being naughty, so we had to... get rid of her. As in, like, get rid of her? What? Oh, no, of course not. I gave Molly to my sister, but that's part of a broader life change. I'm into cats now! That's why I'm here at this cat cafe! This is my hell. Only problem is, the cats all escaped! Will you two help me round them up? Spoke too soon. That's my hell. Now we're in it. We'd be happy to help you out. What do these missing cats look like? There's 20 of them, each with the sweetest, cutest, rudest, little, squatchy face. Yeah, okay, we got it. 20 missing cats on it. Let's keep moving. Be nice. Hey, Kozuki! Oh, hey! What are you two doing out here? Feeding up Yakuza, saving the city, same old. You? Funny, you should mention that. I'm chasing down info on the sudden influx of criminal activity in River City for an RCH exclusive story! Nobody knows where all these criminals are coming from, but they're driving at all the old school store owners. I'll get to the bottom of it, though. I always do. This story is gonna be hot! I'll bet! No one reads the school paper, Kozuki. <laughs> Sorry, someone skipped breakfast this morning. Oh, no worries. I followed my leads from RC High to here. I've got a feeling this leads back to San Wakai Tower, but I haven't been able to get inside yet. Some Oni-looking goons are blocking the entrance. Rude, did you show them your RCH press pass? Uh, yeah I did! And they told me to beat it! Can you imagine? I sure can. You two have a way of getting around. Maybe you can help me get inside the tower so I can get my exclusive? Uh, maybe later. We gotta get going. Nice talking to you. Good luck with your story! <gasps> oh, hey, Boo Boo. You dressing up for Halloween or something? A bun bun smash! <laughs> Don't compare me with that loser of Bobo! You're... not him? 
I look like him? Hmm, probably in a black and white photo. Or if it's very dark, maybe? My name's me Bobo, and it's my job to keep losers out of this sweet nightclub. How do you know we're losers? Because you ain't in here. <laughs> He's got us there. Pretty airtight logic. Any chance you could let us inside? Not unless I know you've got some sweet dance moves. Well, uh, sure we do. We're teenagers. Yeah, we're all great at dancing or whatever. No, uh I ain't falling for that again. You gotta prove it. How? Go get a top five score on that dance game in the arcade. Do that, and I'll let you inside. Can our friend Hiroshi get the high score? Yeah, we heard he's pretty good at that game. Not unless you're trying to get him inside this club. Fine, we get it. We'll be back. Found a cat! Ooh, can we keep it? No! Ah! The arcade! Finally, we can get some game time! Oh, yeah. About that. Hey, Hiroshi. Are you here to play video games, too? Well, I was, before these Yakuza goons took the place over. This is getting seriously annoying. Yep. I was planning to set the top five scores again in Ultra Dance You Light Up My Life Baby Remix VXX, but they changed all the games, so now they only accept Y coins. Y coins? Yakuza coins. We don't have any of those. Nobody does, except the Yakuza. That's unfair. They won't even let you inside unless you have at least 15 Y coins. Any idea where we can get some? Well, they changed all the coin machines, too. Look around Uptown. You're bound to find some. Thanks, Hiroshi. It's one of those Yakuza coin machines. Punch it in its face. But machines don't have faces. You know what I mean. That's five Y coins. Not a bad start. Another machine. Let's crack it open. Another five coins. You think these are good anywhere else? Stay focused. Right. Another machine. Take it down. And five more coins makes 20. You mean 15. 15 makes 20? Math isn't your strongest subject, is it? To be honest, none of them are. There's that dancing machine! I still think we should get Hiroshi to beat it for us. Don't be such a cheater.
dancing. Quick, take a photo so we can show that green bodyguard dude and get inside the club. You're back. And this time we actually beat the game. See? Not bad. Guess you two got some moves after all. I don't see how a dancing video game translates into being able to dance in a club, though. <laughs> of course it does. And we can't wait to, uh, cut a rug or whatever. I'm starting to reconsider my offer. Don't. We'll just go inside now. Thanks again. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Who's ready to party tonight? By party, do you mean hand you your ass again? Yeah, so we kick it off you. Nice. What are you two doing here? Security! What's the matter, Ken? Can't fight your own really good-looking battles? Hell no! Someone, everyone, dispose of them! I'm out of here! Well, that was anticlimactic. I wouldn't say that, considering how many Yakuza are about to attack us. That was a pretty chicken move. Ken sticking his goons on us, then bailing out the back. Yeah, but at least we can build up our XP. XP? Experience. Like how this is a good life experience for us. Something we'll always remember. Oh, well, yeah. Sup? You looking for trouble? Because it's got a way of finding me. She's got some moves. Bet they didn't make her play some video game to get in here. Shut up. I just took out a dozen Yakuza bodyguards. I can take out a few more. Is she referring to us? It'd be pretty hard to confuse us for some Yakuza games. Hey, girl, I like your shoes. What's your name? Shut your face. She might take a bit to warm up to us. We tend to have that effect on people. You've got it wrong. We're not with the Yakuza. In fact, we're also fighting them. Right. In fact, that kind of puts us on the same side. We should team up. Is it working? I can't tell. She still looks pretty intense. Maybe that's just her standard expression. All right, you yuck is a scum. You came to dance, but be prepared to die. Get ready for a beatdown. the bad guys that doesn't prove anything other than you like fighting and dancing speaking of not the time shoot well yeah i can tell from your fighting style you got nothing to do with these yakuza goons i've been busting up recently my name's Pruvy. masako and kyoko what are you doing here Pruvy? aside from looking like hella fresh on the dance floor i'm looking for my friend chris that ken guy might have taken her I tracked him here and was about to beat the info out of him when you two showed up and he split. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, that's our bad. No worries. I've been chasing around town for the past week. I can be patient a few more hours. Maybe we can help. Doubt it. No, seriously, we're like really great at fighting. I can see that. Though just now, I kind of let you win. Uh-huh, sure. Where was the last place you saw your friend Chris? The arcade. We just set the two-player top score when Ken and his crew showed up. Get wrecked! Well, what's Chris look like? Check out your social media feed. We were trending this morning. What? What's going on? What is it? Someone posted embarrassing photos of us online! <laughs> you got that too, huh? It's that social media crew up in Technos. Tech where? The high-tech complex across town. You two aren't very observant, are you? Sorry, what? I got distracted by these janky old photos of me. Ever since that social media menace took over Technos, that place hasn't been the same. They've been hacking people's accounts and posting embarrassing info to shut them up. I don't know if it's related to Ken and Chris, but that was my next stop. They hacked my account this morning. Let us come with you. I don't know. I'm more into the solo thing. But three is better than two. That's just math. <sighs> well, not sure I can argue with that. We'll help you find Chris, and together we'll beat the crap out of that Ken guy. 
Okay, fine. We'll give it a shot. But you two piss me off, and you're gone. Got it? Back so soon. Well, let me know if you need some help. I'm the best at what I do. Here we go! Please. Is that... It is! Oh, man, Fruvy, I'm... I'm your biggest fan! What? I follow you on all the social media feeds. Nobody's got moves like you do, Fruvy! Yeah, I know it. So how about letting us inside? I really shouldn't, but... Oh, heck, why not? Anything for Fruvy. <laughs> well, that was easy. Are you really that famous? You got no idea. Eesh, this place looks expensive. Don't touch anything. You can't afford if you break something. Even bad guy faces? Well, obviously you can break those, sure. Hello there. My name is Sonokawa. It is my pleasure to meet you. Didn't you used to go to our school? I did, but that was several weeks ago. Since then, I've founded this company and become a billionaire tech giant. Oops, correction, make that trillionaire. Good earnings this morning. Can we have some money? <laughs> of course not. Okay, well, we got places to be. I understand. Please, enjoy your time here in Technos. If you see me again, please know it is merely an automated facsimile. But you are welcome to say hello all the same. See you around, Sonokawa. I liked him better when he was poor and dorky. Where do we go now? This place is confusing. Um, it's actually not. It's perfectly organized with a 95% foot flow rating, but I could see how a pair of pre-net dum-dums like you might get lost here anyway. Did that hologram just insult us? I know why you're here. I've been following you since you hit Technos, and believe me, your feed is mecha doll like My grandma gets more clips and shares, and she's 82 and retired and, uh, dead. You're the one who's been embarrassing us on social media. Mm, maybe, legally, as a Technos employee, I can't cop to anything sub-legal. But let's just say, if I did screw with your feeds, it's only because your lives are so makeup land, and frankly, you should thank me for doing it. I'm gonna rip your face off! I'm a hologram, you techno simpleton. But I'll tell you what, you find me, the real me, and we'll have that fight. Sweet go out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna find that social media moron and break her smartphone against her dumb head! Sounds like we know our next boss battle. <sighs> this place is like a maze. A very expensive, shiny maze. So where are we supposed to go? Let's look for someone who might know where that Suiko lady is. I see you've met my father's tech guru. It's Sabuko. Maybe she can help us. Totally. What's a guru exactly? If you're looking for Suiko, you'll need an access code to reach her office. And that's why you're here, right? To give us the code? No. There's an air vent in the next room. I don't like where this is headed. Crawl into the vent, and it'll take you to the robotics warehouse. This sounds complicated. Can you write it down for us? I'm sure it'll appear on our little mission checklist thingy. Oh yeah, please go on. To continue, there is a computer in the warehouse where you can generate an access code. Great, thanks, got it. I'm not finished yet. Ugh. At the end of the vent, there is a fan that will chop you into pieces. As much as I would like to see that happen, I need you to help me defeat my father. Take this EMP device. With it, you can short out the fan long enough to bypass it. Can we use it on enemies too? Hey, it's got a little face on it! Yes. Its name is Bibu. Please take care of it. I'm Bibu! Do you understand everything I've told you? He's got a cute little smile and everything! It's not that cute. Bebo loves his new friends! Okay, it's pretty cute. Thanks, Sabako. 
Come on, Bebo. Let's go find that air vent. Zap, zap, and zap. Wow, that thing packs quite a punch. My name is Bebo, and you're my bestest friends. Aw, I love you, Bebo. He's basically a bug zapper. Yeah, but a really cute one. Bebo is helping. I love you so much. Woo! That one tingled. Being useful makes me happy. Isn't this fun? We're having so much fun right now. Is that the air vent? How would I know what an air vent looks like? Don't you watch movies? Not about air vents. There's the fan. Time to fire it up. But what if it hurts Bebo? He'll be fine. Come on. shady stuff going on in this warehouse. Yeah, these people are clearly not using their abilities for good. <gasps> What's going on? This room looks like a glitchy old west or something. Just computer nerd fantasy stuff. Try to ignore it. And try not to fall into any death traps. That too. That must be the computer. Wait, we've passed like a thousand computers so far. What makes you so sure that's the one with Sabako's code? Call it a hunch. It shrunk us! Where are we? I think we're inside the computer. Whoa! Everything looks so... Boring. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Why do people use these things? Do I look like a nerd? Ask me something I know. Well, how do we get out of here then? Maybe those weird shapes have something to do with it. We got the code. We think so. Anyway, it's numbers. Five, six, seven, two, five, four. Good. Let me check. Okay. Suiko is in the biodome. It should be marked on your map. Awesome. Thanks for helping us out, Sabako. Yeah, you're pretty cool, considering we kicked you out a window once. Don't mention it. Now, where is the EMP device? Um, he, uh... See, the thing with Bibu is... He's dead! We're so sorry! I told you not to use it so much. You did, and we are bad people! Oh, jeez. I can still hear his adorable little voice. Really? I can't. No, I mean in my head. Oh, yeah. Me too! It's fine. It was just a piece of machinery. You take that back! You better hurry. I don't know how long Suiko will remain in the biodome. We're back to normal! Great. I hated being shrunk. Yeah, that seems like something you could do like once in a series and then afterward it's late. Totally. If it happened again, it'd be like, really? Come on. Is this the Biosphere place? I think so. I see plants anyway. Oh, where's Suiko? You know where you'll find me. I left 18 minutes ago. I told you we shouldn't have helped Kuniko. Where are you now? We still got a score to settle with you. Tell you what. You two survive my friends, and we'll grab a latte. Just take the elevator all the way up to my office. If you survive. Why does everyone keep offering me coffee? Up we go. I wonder how high up our office is. Hopefully not very high, because this music is lame. <laughs> totally. But a little catchy. An elevator is not an optimal place to fight a bunch of thugs. Yeah, even one this spacious. They'd probably have better odds just waiting for us at the top rather than attacking us in here in waves. Yeah, probably, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Yeah, probably. Okay, I'll admit it. This music's kinda growing on me. Right? All right.
right, lady. You hacked our phones to make us look like idiots. Yeah, don't even try to deny it. Why would I deny it? It's what I'm best at. It's what they pay me to do. Oh, well, then you'd better tell us your backstory so we can get this fight going. Backstory? I'm not telling you two anything about me. No wonder you two were so easy to hack. We're not easy to hack. Please. Your password is my password. We share the same password? That's a coincidence. Okay, then. Let's get this fight going. Unless you're afraid of a pair of... Hold up. I'm composing a honk by facial recognition. Don't distract me or I might accidentally order a lemon spice latte. <laughs> Record message. Tessa G. Um, G girl, that dress was hella blazing. Flash tag, hot bumpin'. Flash tag, what? <laughs> Catch you later at Doubly's, boo-boo. And message, add blonde glitter Audi, shade 233 magenta, filter, uh, nostalgia, baby. Mm-hmm. Launch, send. Okay, now where were we? I'm gonna knock your head off! I'd like to see that. Computer! Load badass bot fight music track 26. Okay, let's see what you're made of. Literally. I'm very busy and hella important. Enough. Computer and fight music. You two are tougher than I expected. Will you unhack our phones now? Already have, though you should consider posting this fight in your feed. I'm not even embarrassed. You two are the next big thing in River City. Which button does the feeding? Never mind. Here, take my emblem. You'll need it if you're planning to take down Sabu. It'll get you into exclusive locations. Everyone who works for Sabu has one. Everyone who matters, anyway. <laughs> Why are you helping us all of a sudden? Because I don't stand in the way of progress. If you end up deleting Sabu, tell them Suiko says hi. Oh, hey, it's you two. Did you also get high-tech Technos internships? We broke in here. Then we destroyed a cute little robot. Oh, Beepo. Huh, okay. Well, I'm helping advance their robotic AI systems. To be weapons or something? Actually, to streamline distribution of care packages for typhoon-displaced orphans overseas. Oh, that sounds nice. It super is. It's like so important to do charity work and extracurricular activities while we're still in high school. And colleges eat that crap up. Speaking of, can you two help me find some objects lying around here? I've been sprucing up the techies' cubicles, but now I have to put everything back where it was. Why can't you do it? Yeah, we're kind of busy right now, TDH. I would, but like, I don't really do the whole manual labor thing. But you two look totally used to it, you know? Fine, whatever, just tell us what we need to find. Why do we keep taking on these little missions? 
Sometimes it's easier to get it done than to argue. Found it. Want some coffee? Gross, no! Now where do we put all these things? Nico? She's on her phone. Guess we have to figure it out. Found the filling cabinet! You mean the filing cabinet? No, it's a filling cabinet, because you fill it with paper. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, I found the printer. How can you tell? It says printer on it. <gasps> okay, we put everything back where it was supposed to go. Did you know it's filing cabinets and not filling? So weird. Great, thanks. You two are the best. Now I can get the heck out of here. This place sucks anyway, ever since the Yakuza took it over. Hey, Kuniko, you want to, like, hang out this weekend or something? Ooh, jeez. I mean, I would, but I'm pretty busy this weekend. We're adopting stray dogs from the pound and giving them cute makeovers so they don't look all gross and infected anymore. That way, someone might actually take them home and love them or something. But it was real cool seeing you two again. Later! I regret helping her. Let's go. I regret helping everyone. Found another one! Oh, it's got a little patch over one eye. I hate this so much. Those laser thingies are gone. Guess we can visit Ocean Heights now. We got a text message. What's it say? Hey! It's Suiko. She says the docks are no longer blocked and we can now access more of Ocean Heights. Anything else? She also says, you're welcome. Yep, sounds like her. I wonder who that mystery woman is that Howdy Kid talked about. He mentioned the legendary abs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> well, it might be her. Well, hey, look at you two. I'd rather you didn't. Yeah, keep your eyes to yourself, creepo. Yeesh, it's kind of harsh. You don't even know me. We should keep it that way. My name's Williams. Is that your first name or last? Yes. Anyway, what's up with all the blackouts around here? You guys forget to pay the electricity bill? Eh, probably. But these particular blackouts are because of faulty equipment. Ever since the Yakuza rolled into town, they scared away all of the service folks. So stuff breaks in it, uh, stays broke. Well, we gotta get in the subway for reasons. Yeah, you got a flashlight or anything? What would I do with a flashlight? Shadow puppets? It's kind of a weird question. Here, I got a wrench. Take this and uh, go fix the generators yourselves. It's thrill. Can you show us where they are? Nope, I'm busy. Standing there looking cool? Hey, you'll know it. <sighs> Thanks for the icky wrench, Mr. Williams. <gasps> Is that one of those generator thingies? I don't know. Whack it with the wrench and see what happens. Hi, Felicia! What are you looking at? Need some help, buddy? You again, huh? Need me to help fight your battle? All right, you seem like okay, folk. Let's head out. I knew you'd be back. You need some help, huh? I've been training for this my whole life. Hey, it's another one of those generator thingies. Let's wrench it up good. Another one. Who's a cute kitty? Who's a cute kitty? You are! Barf! Let's go this way! Nope, it's blocked off. Mega lame. Guess we'll come back later. 
Hey, welcome back. Did you bring any food? Nope. Dang. Oh, hey. I'm guessing you need someone's face punched in, huh? Yep. I'm still here. All right. I ain't picky. Your money's good with me. Hey, let's go crack some hails. <laughs> Well, hello there. Uh, this guy again? How do you get around so fast? Do you really want to know? No! It involves a complex system of interconnected sewers. I said no! Anyway, I got a new mission for you. I can't wait to hear this. <laughs> That's the spirit. I see you're headed to the local basketball court. We might be. Well, there's a Yakuza crew who plays there. But every time I join in, they hurl b-balls at my face. That's understandable. Head over there and help me destroy them. No, why would we do that? I'd do it myself, but I, uh, forgot my favorite sneakers. That seems plausible. I'm rooting for you. Get off our court, losers! Oh, yeah. Well, technically, this court belongs to the city. You tell us. Yeah! All right, you beat us, but that was a dumb move. Now she's going to hear about this, and you're all going to take a long dirt nap. That sounds filthy. No, oh, I could use a nap. He means they're gonna kill us. Then that sounds less appealing. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, hey again. Thanks for helping me out back there. Yeah, whatever. What do you want now, Godai? Please don't send us on another mission. Actually, I come bearing a gift. Hard pass. What is it? We fixed all those generator thingies. Thanks. The subway should be lit up now. You can head on over. Mopey little kid again. I'm not mopey. I'm deep and tortured. You don't look tortured. We can fix that though if you keep mouthing off. You look roughed up. What happened? A bunch of Yakuza jumped me when I wasn't looking. Did you fight back? What's the point? We're all just going to die eventually. We got it, Mr. Sunshine. I was going to say we're all outnumbered by them. They run this part of town now. Oh, sorry. It's so annoying that these Yakuza keep taking over all the cool spots in town. For sure. But we can help you out, kid. We're real good at fighting. Go check the subway. I saw them headed over there, led by that lady I mentioned. Legendary abs! Thanks, kid. We'll set this right. You just stay here and uh, keep thinking happy thoughts. I would never! Yeah, I figured. It's still pretty dark in here. It's a subway, what'd you expect? To not have to spend my day in a subway? See? Told you it was probably her. Legendary abs. I'll say. Who are you? Don't you remember us? Yeah, we shopped at your store all the time. Shopped? <sighs> Can't... Remember, she seems less friendly than in our last adventure. I'll say. Hey, lady, what's with the Yakuza crew? We thought you were one of the good guys. Good guys? Hey, quit confusing the boss. You shut your face before I shut it for you, goon. Yeah, well, okay. Step aside. I'll take care of these pesky teenagers. What happened to the customer is always right? And the customers will soon be dead. Definitely not right in her head. So let's aim for that head. Got it. Yeah. 
Your life will now end. What am I? You must kill. Destroy. Jeez, the spell wore off. Let's split! I'll split you! In half, I mean! Are you okay, Miss, uh... Marion. Marion Kelly. You didn't seem like yourself. I wasn't. These Yakuza had me under some kind of spell. Sorry for kicking you in the head so much. Don't be. It seemed to do the trick. <laughs> and I can take a good punch. Abs. What do you remember last? I'm... I'm not sure. It's still kind of a blur. Maybe start at the beginning? But like, the beginning of this story, not your childhood or anything. Yeah, we've had a problem with run-on flashbacks. I came to River City a few years ago with my close friends, Billy and Jimmy Lee. Wait, which one were you close with? We were all pretty close. Whoa, that's hot. Totally. They'd get into all kinds of crazy adventures. But while they were fighting ninjas in ancient temples or robots in underground complexes... I hate robots. I'd be left waiting for them to rescue me. Waiting, and waiting, and waiting. Until one adventure, I got sick of getting punched in the gut, sick of getting kidnapped, and sick of waiting around to be rescued. So... I decided to rescue myself. Hell yeah! You are so amazing, Marion! Without a damsel in distress to rescue, the brothers got tired of going on adventures. They set up a pair of dojos here in River City. Oh yeah, we've seen those guys! But me? <laughs> I was just getting started on my own adventures. Could she be any cooler? Honestly, I doubt it. My last mission took me to a creepy section of Flatirons, chasing some supernatural crimes. Uh-oh, things getting spooky again. Uh, I don't like it. But before I could find out who was behind things, I started feeling woozy. And then... everything went black. The next thing I knew, I was here with you two, getting my head kicked. Yeah, sorry again about that. <laughs> Don't be. Obviously, your attacks helped knock me out of whatever hypnosis I was under. You mean like a spell? Maybe. I did sense an evil presence just before I collapsed in that forest. Why does it have to be an evil presence? You're expecting a friendly, mind-controlling presence? I mean, maybe? I've got to get back to Flatirons and find out who took control of me. Then crush them into pulp. Wait, join our crew and we can help you. Yeah, we're also trying to save the city, I guess. And afford some video games. Mostly save the city, though. I don't know. You two think you can keep up with me? We can try. All right. Let's give this a shot. Search it from the safety of our home computers? Do you even have a computer? No. -uh. Come on! Look, it's Noise's tour bus! I didn't know she was back in town! Looks like it's blocking our way. We'll have to come back later. That's not very nice. Uh, it's me being friendly? Uh, yeah, sure. What are you doing here, Noise? I'm back in River City for another tour. After my last tour got interrupted by some crime-fighting teenagers. Sorry about that. We were in love. <gasps> yeah, I got that. Anyway, we 
like some weird, dark, magic-y barrier blocking us from seeing through this tunnel. Like it's trying to stop us from performing. Even our headlights won't cut through the darkness. Can't you just drive through it anyway? Hey, yo, traffic safety is no joke! Just because we rock doesn't mean we drive reckless. I guess that makes sense. So now we're stuck here with no way to get to our show in a few hours. Well, we can help you, Noise. Sure, I mean, it's not like we're not already juggling multiple missions. Yeah, but this is for a friend. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I guess we'll go figure out what's causing the dark tunnel spell and undo it then. <laughs> Excellent! You two rock! Now hurry up! Show starts in a few hours. Feels like we've been walking forever. This looks like a good place to chill when we need a break. You mean inside these creepy abandoned circus cages? Oh yeah, what's safer than a cage? All right, twerps. Me and Junior here will help you out. He seems to think you're good people. Oh. Sup, nerds. <laughs> Later, dweebs. Oh. <laughs> what are these things? Ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts. Yeah, but they're like right there. So? Doesn't change my core beliefs about the supernatural. Anyway, this seems like a pretty safe place to chill, too. If you say, because nothing's safer than hanging out with ghosts, I will strangle you! Well, I won't say it now. I think we're lost. We're not lost. You know where we are? No, but that's not the same as being lost. might be going in circles. Or squares, I guess? But like, in a circle shape, too. Just keep moving. What if we can't find our way out of these woods and we die here? I'll have no regrets. None? Well, I mean, maybe getting lost and dying in some creepy woods. But that's it. Okay, we might actually be lost now. See? Gloat. Nobody likes to know it all. There's very little I know about what's going on right now. There's no way we could get this lost this fast. Someone must be casting a spell on us or something. What? You got lost in school the other day. Yeah, but those hallways are long. And they all look the same. Finally! We made it out! See? I told you we weren't lost. Or maybe we were so lost, we got unlost from wandering around so lost, you know? Nope. Look, creepy vines everywhere, just like Marion described. This must be near where she passed out. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, it's that skeleton shopkeeper with the golden cat. What's up, Boney? Oh, you know, just getting by, taking it one day at a time. You know how it is, right? I mean, we're not creepy skeleton monsters, but yeah, otherwise we can relate. And what, pray tell, are the two of you doing deep in these haunted woods? We're helping our friend Marion find out who put her under a spell. M marion you say? Oh, geez, I uh, never heard that name before. I is it a name? You're hiding something, aren't you? Fine, you've got me, I'll talk. But only because you've been loyal customers, and I respect that. Back when I was more of a supervillain and less of a purveyor of fine goods, I tussled with the Lee brothers a few times. And let me guess, you kidnapped Marion to get their attention? Well, that was generally how it was done back then. But she taught me a real lesson. I could still feel her fist in my gut. Ooh, indigestion. Did you put a spell on her? I would never. I mean, maybe back then if it had occurred to me, but it didn't. So now I just sell trinkets and impulse items. Speaking of, are you two in the market for any snacks, appliances, or rare forbidden treasures? Nope, unless one of them can get us through these vines. Ah, for that, you'll need ghost peppers. About six, I'd say. What's a hot pepper gonna do to a magic -y vine? No, a literal ghost pepper. They're the ghosts of peppers prematurely eaten. This town is so weird. Indeed! I saw some ghost peppers floating around here quite recently. I'm sure you could find some if you look around. What is this place? Looks like some kind of skeleton market. Because it is! 
Welcome to the skeleton market. I just said that. I know, you're very perceptive. Hey, you're that skeleton who greeted us when we first arrived. Tis true, tis I. Oh, jeez, you're not gonna talk like that the whole time, are you? Well, I like to bring a certain level of panache to my salesmanship, but if you're not having it, I can tone it down, sure. What is this place? We sell unusual goods, ones you would never find in a traditional market. Our local pawn shop has a lot of weird things for sale. Well, yes, maybe a bit of overlap there, but can they beat our prices? Probably. Oh. Well, we were forced to set up shop here after the witch Blair banished us in the most inhumane manner. Well, you're not human, right? No, technically, but people could still act a little kinder towards the skeleton vendors. What's worse is Blair stuffed my tarot cards into a t-shirt launcher and shot them out across the woods. I'm near powerless without them. We can help you find them. What? No, we already got way too much on our plates. Oh, glorious. They should be nearby. Look for glowing, floating cards. Find them all and you'll be repaid in both goods and a very big smile from yours truly. Great, looking forward to that. Come on. We'll find your playing cards, Mr. Skeleton. <clears throat> and one of those carrot cards. Tarot cards. What's a tarot? I don't know, just keep looking. Hey, it's some creepy figure in a boat. Maybe he can give us a lift. Hey, buddy, can we hitch a ride? Go away. Rude. Guess we should come back later. And another one. How many of these things are there? Is that a ghost pepper? I mean, it looks like a little haunted pepper acting all spooky, so I guess so. Gotcha! How many of these things we need? Five more. Got another one. They're actually kind of cute. And haunted. Don't forget that part. I got one! You, you take it! I hate spicy things! No one's asking you to eat it. Good, because I would never, ever... How many is that so far? Twelve? I think. Or maybe three. You're not helping. Well, don't ask me to count. I hate peppers. Sup, nerds. <laughs> Later, dweebs. <laughs> I think this is number five. Oof, my hands are starting to burn. See? They're horrible! That's six. Yeah. What up, dudes? Y'all ready to get wrecked? No, that sounds painful. And annoying. What's your name, guy? I'm Crash, and nobody could be my best time at a Cross City Relay race! I guess that's a thing someone could be proud of. You two up for the challenge? What do we win if we beat your time? Bragging rights! Pass. And a cash prize. But, like, you should do it for the bragging rights. I'm sort of a big deal around here. So you keep saying. All right, let's see what you two are capable of. Ready? Wow, I've uh, never had my time beaten before. <laughs> I think I need to be alone to process this bogus turn of events. Take your time, but give us that prize in the meantime. Oh, yeah. Fair is fair, huh? Here you go. Weird, that furniture is floating. Mine doesn't do that. Seems kind of evil. I'm dead. That art! That's a mean old creepy painting! You stop that! 
Is it working? I think so. Looks like they were pretty spiced. See, after all. And haunted. Do you think they die using them like this? Best not to think about it. Maybe they become ghosts of ghosts. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, hey! It's you two again! Hi, Kozuki. Working on some big story? You know it! I'm still trying to find a way into San Wakai Tower, but recently I've heard there's this hot new chef on Sabu's payroll who might be the way in. Keep up the good work, Kozuki. Yep, expose them all. I won't stop till I do. <laughs> What's going on? I feel weird. Yeah, I've got a really bad headache all of a sudden. And our heads are getting all glitchy. Shh, I'm not supposed to be able to see those. Oh yeah, sorry. This looks like the place Marion described right before she passed out. Great, so can we get out of here before what attacks her comes for us? Too late. Ugh, what are you two doing here? Can't you see outsiders aren't welcome? We didn't see a sign. The dozens of ghosts, ghouls, and mazy forest wasn't a clue? Well, I guess in hindsight... Anyway, what do you want? I'm very busy. Unless you've got cash, then I'm slightly less busy. Did you cast a spell on our friend Marion? Dunno, I cast lots of spells. Describe her? Long blonde hair, workout clothes, legendary abs... Yeah, I did. But only because I was paid to do so, so don't get all in my case about it. How'd you two know about that anyway? We broke her out of the spell. You what? Were we, uh, not supposed to do that? Do you have any idea how expensive that spell was? It required rare artifacts that are not cheap. And with my stupid guarantee, now it comes out of my pocket to cast it again. I swear, I told that demon we shouldn't offer that. <sighs> Well, you could just, like, not put her back under a spell. Don't tell me how to do my job, okay? I'm a lot better at what I do than whatever the hell you two do. We punch and kick people. Sometimes wrestling moves, too. Cute. And how, pray tell, did you break my spell over Marion? With, uh, punching and kicking? And wrestling moves, like we said. Well, that's very annoying and rude. And now I'm gonna have to destroy you both. So don't take it personally, but also don't fight it, because I've got a terrible headache right now. Ugh, just like leave or whatever. Get him out of the I super hate you. Prepare to die, I guess. Slice it. Ugh. I was getting bored anyway. Alright, knock it off. I'm beat. You got me. Those were some wicked moves, though. I wish we knew how to do magic like that. I can teach you. If you've got money. Yeah? It's a lot of money, though. Oh, we're generally pretty poor. Yeah, I figured. So, piss off and leave me alone? I've already wasted too much time on you two. Wait, before we go, we need to know, why were you controlling Marion? I told you already, because I got paid. And really well, too. Yeah, but by who? <sighs> okay, well, this all goes back a few years. I was born into magic, literally. My dad was a stage magician, and mom was a fortune teller. They loved their jobs, and they loved each other. Aw, that's sweet. I love a good love story. But over time, their love faded. They needed more in their lives. So they cast a special spell, and nine moons later, I came along. How's that work? I'll, uh, explain it to you later. They taught me everything they knew at a young age. I was a powerful witch by age four, controlling creatures and minds by age six. Wait, like dark art stuff? You don't hang out with that Yamada guy, do you? 
He's a poser. Right. But one day, Dad took one of his tricks too far, and it vanished them both from this realm. Forever. Plot twist. You're gonna be so sad. I was left to fend for myself, and there was no chance in hell, which is very real, by the way. I'd be sent to an orphanage, so I set up shop here in Flatirons and started selling my potions, spells, whatever. Oh, wait, can we go back to this hell is real thing? Don't distract her, the story's just getting good. A few years ago, this funny little Yakuza weasel shows up at my shop. <laughs> Sounds like Ken. Talking about how big a deal he is, how important his dad is. Definitely Ken. They put me on their payroll and covered my expenses if I would just make myself available for any spells, readings, or incantations they ever needed. Anything for money, huh? Hey, a witch has gotta survive. I wiped her mind, gave control of her to the Yakuza, and that's the last I heard. Until you two came around. But to be honest, those Yakuza were getting pretty annoying anyway. Always bugging my customers. I've been thinking of breaking our deal soon. You should, and come help us instead. Mm, help you what? Take back the city and defeat Ken and his Yakuza army. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to give the wrong impression, but I don't give a rat's ass about any of that. Oh. However, if you two promised to come around my shop now and then, pick up the business I would have had with them, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. I knew you were good at heart. Don't you ever say that about me again. <laughs> Got it. Here, take my emblem. You'll need it to get back out of the forest. Oh, shiny. And expensive looking. Don't sell it. You might need it later. The Yakuza gave an emblem to each of their special employees, like myself. Other witches? <laughs> Hardly. I took care of their spells. Another their food, the girl their social media. Well, thanks for your help, Blair. We'll be back, I'm sure. You better, and bring cash. I'm not helping you out for friendship. Not even a little? No. Okay, yeah, we'll bring cash. Thanks for the emblem. <laughs> Looks like we gotta find our way back out of here. How about we take that boat with the creepy guy instead? Well, hello there. Who are you? Some kind of monster. Shame on you. Just because I don't have skin doesn't mean I don't have feelings. Sorry. I'm the ferryman, and for a price, I can take you wherever you need to travel. Except on land. Well, yes, obviously. Climb aboard my cursed vessel when the journey is far, and I will transport you across this plane of existence to your destination. For a fee, right? It's... it's reasonably priced. Cheaper than a taxi, really. Feel free to charge your phones and there's water bottles under the seat. Okay, thanks. Good to know. Oh, hey! Can you two help me? It's Kauri! Nice swimsuit. Thanks. I wish I could use it, but that Yamada jerk keeps using his magic powers to send volleyballs my way and kick up sand at me. What a jerk, why? I think this is his way of flirting? Yeah, he's pretty socially inept. Maybe if you two show me your skills with a volleyball, he'll leave me alone? You got it, Kauri. Thanks so much. And maybe later we can finally hang! Well, we're kind of busy right now. Oh. Hey, no fair! This fight didn't involve you! You were magicking volleyballs at our friend! Yeah, so? So knock it off! Fine. Not sure how I'm supposed to meet any girls on this beach, though. Well, that's one way, I guess. Aw, <laughs> oh, jeez, more fans! Can't you wait till the after party to bug me? You again, huh? Looks like I got an- You want the best? You got her! Let's rock! Ocean Heights. 
It's been a while. Totally. What should we hit first? The theme park? Mm, I heard about these new twice fried corn dogs they've got now. We're here on a mission to save the city, remember? Yeah, but when are we not saving the city? <sighs> yeah. This place looks hopping. Must be that new chef Kozuki was talking about. If he works for Sabu, we should find a way inside. Yeah, and then beat some info out of him. You won't get inside looking like that. Whoa, where'd you come from, Sabako? She's a ninja, remember? Wait, is she? I am not a ninja. Listen, I've got the emblems of Blair the Witch and Suikoto's social media guru. I still don't know what a guru is. But they won't let you inside unless you look like Blair and Suiko. I mean, we're stylish like them, right? Not really. Go visit Hibari at the shipyard. She should be able to construct passable disguises for you. Oh, I hate that little prima donna imp. Do we need another gold cap this time? Go! Hey, it's that mask guy. Can you vanish again so we can get inside? No, but you can get lost. Rude. Ah! We're back. And we've got our special emblem thingies. Yeah, so let us inside. Please. You two aren't Blair and Suiko. Quit wasting my time. Oh, yeah. So take your emblems and take off. We better go find Habari. Hey, look, it's Habari. What's up, girlfriend? You two again? We do tend to keep popping up. Men, stop loading up the boats and kill them. Jeez, nice to see you too. We did it! We beat them all up! Was there ever any doubt? Oh, perfect. How am I supposed to load my crates onto the boat now? Not our problem, Shorty. Though we could use a favor if you don't mind. After you beat up my workers and call me Shorty? Uh, yes? Okay, I'll do you a favor. If you load all my crates onto the boat for me. I was afraid it would be something like that. And if we do, you can make us disguises. I can make anything if it involves fashion. Though I doubt you can load much with those scrawny muscles. Come back when you've got the physique for such heavy lifting. We need to find someone really buff who can help us train. Did someone say my name? Nope. Who are you? It's me, Shimizu. Okay. Don't you recognize me? I'm part of Ricky's gang. You certainly dress like him. Thanks. Then I can help you two train up to get super buff yourself. Does he think he's buff? I mean, he's pretty wide, I guess. Let's see what you two can handle. Well, you two are more ripped than I expected. That's a good thing, right? It means really strong. Ah, yes. Then we are very ripped indeed. I gotta sit down for a second, uh, catch my breath. Thanks for the competition. Hey, bet we can lift those crates now. Let's go back to Havari and find out. Hey, wait, where are you going? I thought you needed our help loading the boat. I do, but I got tired of waiting. Goodbye. We'll never get into that restaurant if we don't convince her to make us some masks. Hurry, grab a crate. We can toss them on the boat before it's out of the docks. Wow, I feel pretty jacked. Those crates won't know what hit them. No, we're supposed to lift them, not hit them. It's just an expression. You better hurry, though. We can already feel our burn fading. We did it! Ah! All crates loaded on the boat! No thanks to Hibari. Was it really necessary to have the boat moving as we loaded it? No, but I quite enjoyed it. Now, tell me what kind of fashion you require. I hate you, but I am a designer of my work. Well, it's not exactly fashion. More like... Halloween masks. 
of our favorite Yakuza adjacent business people. And who might that be? Blair the Witch and Suiko the, uh, internet lady? Oh, them. You know them? Not really. But here you go. Enjoy looking even more obnoxious than you do now. Thanks! Yay! These masks feel super weird. Think they'll pull that bouncer guy? We're about to find out. Though I wish Hibari hadn't bedazzled them with so many jewels. Well, it is Hibari. Anyway, you got your emblems? Of course we do! What kind of stupid question is that? Here you go! Proof that we are who we say we are and not someone totally different impersonating them. Hmm. The emblems check out. Enjoy your meal! I'll never get used to that. OMG, this place... Anything through this mask. In fact, I can barely breathe. Come on, let's find that chef guy and get his emblem, too. Uh. This door obviously leads somewhere important. Too bad it's locked. Come on, let's beat up more Yakuza. One of them must have a key. Yeah. I got the key card. Uh, where? Nice job, uh, that other villain. Another key card. Be nice if these things worked on more than just one door. Here we go again. And it's hard to fight in these masks. Don't take them off yet. We gotta fool that chef guy. Fine. Hey, you! Are you that famous evil chef dude? What? No, I'm Minoki, the sous chef. Yeah? Well, I hate soup, so prepare to fight. He said sous chef, not sous chef. What's a sous? It means assistant, right? Uh, more or less. I work with the great and talented Primo Fantasy. That's not his real name. I assure you it is. The Senor Primo is River City's greatest culinary talent. And all he makes is soup? Gotta keep up. Why are you chained up like that? Well, Senor Primo likes to make sure his kitchen staff um, stays focused. That's so mean! Want us to break you free? Yes! But no, that is, if Senor Primo ever found out... We're gonna go beat him up right now. Then yes, please get me out of here. Here, take this keycard. It will get you into the studio next door where Senor Primo tapes his number one cooking program. We're gonna be on TV? Where will you go, Anoki? It has always been my dream to open up a food truck of my own. After slaving in this kitchen for Senor Primo for the past seven years, it can now become a reality. Good luck with that. Save us a burger or whatever it is you make. Now, let's go crash Senor Primo's party. The last key card. It better be. Oh, hey, what you two doing here? I am the witch, Blair! Ooh! And I am Suiko, the hacker computer lady. Bzz, bzz. Yeah, yeah, I know who you are. What you want? I'm very busy. We go live in five minutes. We want to uh, talk about our evil plans. And how we all work for Sabu, right? Did you bring your emblem today? Of course I did. Primo don't go nowhere without it. Why? Good, because we needed to, uh... Why do we need his emblem again? To combine with the others so you can get inside Sawakai Tower, yes? Uh, yeah, exactly! 
because with all our powers combined with Sabu's Yakuza forces, River City will be ours! Right! That's what I was going to say. Yeah, Primo's not giving you my emblem, whoever you is. Uh, I already said I am Blair, mystical witch of the... I don't think these masks are fooling him. No joke? They look like bad Halloween games. <laughs> Give Primo a little credit, huh? Well, at least we can take them off now. Ugh, I could barely breathe under there. I can still smell cheap rubber and unnecessary jewels. Besides, you smell nothing like them. Suiko smells of lavender with subtle hints of black currant. You payasu smell like street trash with notes of pathetic and stupidity. But come now, let's get things started. You want to matter Primo for his emblem? Oh, oh. We do so on live TV! Tonight on Primo Delights! Lights! Camera! Action! Ready, camera two! I gotta admit, that first course was tougher than I expected. Primo's got some spicy recipes. But we're not ready for the check just yet! Second course really did me in. Not sure how I can survive to dessert at this rate, but I'm not giving up yet. We're in it to win it. <laughs> this is not gonna help my ratings. Well, you two are better in the kitchen than I expected. You should see us in the streets. Now give us your emblem. Sure thing. You bit me fair and square. Here you go. Now we can get into San Makai Tower! Not without the fourth emblem, you isn't! <laughs> what? Oh, come on, quit changing the rules! Besides, you two got bigger problems right now. Primo just sent his latest culinary creation over to River City High School. You cook school lunch now? Not exactly culinary art. Ah, uh -huh, this is a special dish. And once all the kids eat it, there'll be mindless servants in Sabu's Yakuza army! What? No way! How? Ah, I put in Primo's special spice. You take one bite, turns your brain to mush, but in a very tasty way. We've got to stop the other kids from eating it. Tcha! <laughs> Good luck with that! And remember, watch Primo Delights every afternoon at 4 p.m. Primo's been a little, uh, Soft in the ratings lately. <laughs> Hurry, we gotta get to the school before all the other students' minds become chili infused mush. We need to save the other students. That's the most caring I think I've ever seen you be about someone other than yourself. I know, I don't like it any more than you do. We got another text message from Suiko. What? Say! I can't read it. All the words are abbreviated to try and look cooler. She says the Yakuza have stopped all the buses. Great. Guess we gotta hoof it across town now. You never know how important public transit is till it's gone. Let's get back to the school before everyone eats Primo's poison slop. Who's expelled now, RC High? Oof, this place has gotten so much worse since we were kicked out. Yeah, I think it's because everyone was so sad to see us go. Uh, uh no. Uh-oh. What is it? Remember when I said some of the students might have already eaten Primo's toxic chow? about us? Yep. Well, that's rude. Let's show them a real good welcome. And by that, I mean turn them into faces. Today, class, we are going to go over how fast to eliminate the Ducko and the Kyoko. 
I heard Masako and Kyoko were heroes. Heroes, they say, were worth a lot of people. Little Colleen, you see, Masako and Kyoko are actually monsters in disguise and should be avoided at all costs. They sound awfully scary. What happens if they corner me in a dark alley? Oh, that's a I'm glad you asked. Masako and Kyoko are very formidable, but since they are monstrous creatures, they inherently have weaknesses we can exploit. Show me. <laughs> As you can see here, the monsters have a thick exoskeleton that protects the soft, gooey corporeal form, where they store the gut stuff. No brain or heart is to be found inside, of course, since they are running on pure monster instincts. What can I use to break through their exoskeleton? Coming in hot with the right question. Why, there are many ways to break through their defenses. Oof, little too hot. You can use a myriad of varied methods. If you can't run and have access to these, I recommend any of the falling weapons to soften their outer shell. Can you name them for me? Level team, laser sword, bat, spike bat, double barrel bat with spike, double barrel bat with more baseball bat, instead of spike, let's shoot a real bat. Now remember, when you encounter one of these monsters in River City, what do we do? Turn around, run, don't look back, never stop running. Exactly. Oh, I ain't gonna make it, Sarge. Leave me behind. Ah, fire! Hot. Very, very hot. You like that? A little trap I set up. There's more where that came from. How do we turn them off? What makes you think I'd tell you? Because you can't stop talking about how brilliant your dumb plans are. Okay, but. That's not why I'm telling you. I just want to give you a fighting chance. What an idiot. They're powered by the boiler room. But even if you could find it, you'll never get it shut off. <laughs> Can't win again. I hate that guy. I'm sure most people do. This is the principal's office. Are we supposed to be in here? Of course, for there is mystery afoot. Is that our principal? He looks like a low-budget superhero. I am the mysterious Mr. K. What's the K stand for? It's a mystery. Wouldn't Mr. E have been better? Maybe, but I'd already bought the web domain. Solve my mystery, and you two will be rewarded. This is weird. And we're busy, but sure, whatever. Mystery. Hey, it's a piece of a secret blueprint. Let's find the rest of the blueprint and go home to build whatever this is. Yeah, but... But what? I kind of want to save the city now. Yeah, me too. What a weird feeling. I hate it. Let's keep an eye out for more pieces of the blueprint. There's the boiler. Why, it certainly is. All 2,856 pounds of her. Huh? Where? You! Oh! Well, I'm Thummy. I take care of this here boiler. At least, I did before all them Yakuza fellas came and smashed it apart. Great. Now there's no way to avoid Ken's fire traps. Well, now I didn't say that. Oh, Thummy's always got an extra solution up his sleeve. I'd rather not see that, thanks. Boiler might be smashed, but they left the pieces. All y'all gotta do is pick up all them dials on the floor, snap them back in place, and this here boiler should be ready for prime time! What happens at prime time? It's, uh, just an expression. Well, maybe try to express yourself a bit less, Bummy. Can do! I found a dial, I think. Come on, let's get back to that boiler and the weird little guy. One of them? By gum, it sure is! I call that particular dial skipping, on account of how I always skip with joy whenever I see it. <laughs> sure, whatever. How many more of these are left? Three more. But before.
more than you go looking for them. Gotta reinstall this fella here. Hey there, Skippy! <laughs> nice to see you again. Oh, Thummy sure did miss ya. Found another dial. I wonder what this one's named. Aw, oh, be nice. He's probably just lonely. We got another dial. You sure as shoot did. Oh, Thummy is impressed. Now go on ahead and attach that thing over there to this thing right here, and we'll be in business. Third dial located. Great, let's get it back to Stubby now. Thummy. Whatever. Third dial. Oh boy, keep them coming. This is more excitement than old Flubby had down here in years. I think this is the last dial. You know, when this is over, I think this is the last dial. Ah, oh, Tabitha, how oh, I missed ya. The dial's name is Tabitha? Nah, old Flubby's just thinking about a friend. Weird. Okay, what do we do now? Attach that dial to this thing and crank her up. And this will turn off Ken's fire traps? Maybe. Could also blow up the boiler and kill us all. Either way, this has been one eventful day, and I'll be dying with my best friend. Wait, what? Installing the dial now. I think I might actually miss Thummy. Really? No! Well, we're not dead. And no more fire traps. And no more Thummy. Hey, I kind of liked him. Let's go find Ken. I bet he's upstairs. Hold it, Ken! What, are you cops now? Who says hold it? I guess we just did. No, we are not cops. We are teenagers. And we're here to pummel you. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. And you know why? Why's that? Because I brought some teenagers of my own. Ew, creepy. Yeah, that came out weird, dude. You're always hiding behind your recruits like cowards, afraid to fight your own battles. Cowards? No way, those people are our friends. Or sometimes we pay the money to protect us. Or that. Well, now it's my time to hide behind my own recruits. Ryuji, Ryuichi, please make your dramatic entrance. Well, look at that, Ryuichi. What's that, Ryuji? More walking punching bags for our training. <laughs> what perfect timing. I believe these two students were expelled. Please show them to the window again. With pleasure, boss. We will enjoy this. Ready, Ryuichi? You know it, Ryuji. That was surprising. Time to up our game. Oh, tougher than I expected. You're the bitch. Hey, come on, you What an embarrassment! That's it, we give! Well, that was disappointing. Maybe if you knew how to throw a punch, brother. My punches weren't the problem, brother. It was your weak kicks. Oh, you mean these weak kicks? Stop it! No, you stop it! Are you trying to punch me because I can hardly feel it? Is that a kick or are we playing footsie? I'm telling mom on you! Well, I'm telling dad on you! Enough! Step aside, you K-pop wannabes. I'll handle this myself. It's time for your punishment! Ow, 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 ow! Th that was cheating! A sucker punch! You were staring straight at us. Still not cool. Just wait till my father hears about this. He will not be pleased. With you, maybe. Yeah, what a pathetic son. Shut up! Besides, we stopped your plan. Yeah, the school is free and hardly anyone ate that toxic junk Primo sent over. Actually, I think a lot of the students ate it. My point stands, we saved the day. 
<laughs> you think this was our plan? These experiments were just the tip of the iceberg. If you two want a rematch, drop by San Wakai Tower. That's where the real action is. Now, where is my helicopter? I... Oh, there it is. Hey, look! Ken dropped another one of those emblem thingies. Solved it! What? That fast? Yep, that was a fun one. Oh, incredible! Your aptitude for solving mysteries is unrivaled, even by me. I have trained you both well. I'm uh, not sure you actually trained us. Now, go out into the world, solve mysteries, and help make River City a safer, less mysterious place. Mystery! Finally out of that crappy school. Again. Let's head to San Wakai Tower. Oh look, the buses are working again. Hey, it's Sabuku again. Got some more tips for us? Yeah, I gotta admit, you have been really helpful this whole adventure. Never expected that, considering we shamed you, kicked you out a window, and destroyed your father's criminal empire. <laughs> Wait, is that an evil laugh? I thought she was good now. Definitely an evil laugh. You fools! I've been using you this entire time! Well, that's not very nice! You've never had any hope of defeating my father or our Yakuza Empire. All you did was cause some minor annoyance and make my stepbrother Ken look bad. He was the one who convinced my father we needed experts in magic, social media, and food. A superfluous! That means unnecessary. Thanks. All we needed was blood and vengeance to fuel our dynasty. And now that everything Ken developed is in ashes, Father will accept me back as his top soldier. That's actually a pretty good plan, I gotta say. Yeah, I'm not even mad. Plus, that Ken guy is a total tool. We're still gonna beat you and your dad, though. Unlikely. My father has built our family empire on the defeat of hopeful insurgents like yourself. You won't make it past the first floor of our tower. But just to ensure you don't follow me, I've rigged a little surprise for you around town. My men have strapped explosives to several of your closest friends. I believe you call them... this? Explosives? But that'll make them explode! Pretty sure that's the idea. You'd better hurry. You don't have much time before the counter reaches zero. And you've got fewer friends to rent movies and chill with. That's not how you say that. Yeah, you're totally embarrassing yourself now. Goodbye. And if you've got any brain cells left in those dented heads, you'll stay away from me, my family, and our empire. We've got to save our friends before those bombs go off. Gonna be extra hard now. Looks like Sabuka's got the streets filled with even more Yakuza. Time for another workout. <laughs> hey, it's that guy from the scrapyard. Looks like Sabuka was using the word friends loosely. Oh, hey there. You two come to party or to get this bomb off my chest? Definitely the second one. Sure thing. But first, you gotta guess my name. Thumbs off, let's go. See you later, whoever you are. You guys! Help me! Please! This is definitely one we can skip. Be nice. I... I never should have gone to the cat cafe! I knew it was a mistake! I never should have turned my back on adorable little doggos. That's when they grabbed me and put this bomb on me! And I deserve it! Everyone knows dogs are the cutest and fluffiest and best friends ever! Oh, Molly McMuffins! Can you ever forgive me? Mommy's gonna take you back home and love you and squeeze you. And if I can just get out of this situation without dying! Will you stop your yapping? We removed your bomb like two minutes ago. <sighs> Thank you! It's so nice to have BFFs like you two. 
Uh, yeah, sure. Anyway, see ya. Bye, Mihoko. Uh, it's that weird punk guy from the blackouts. I don't think Sabako knows who our friends actually are. Clearly. Oh, hey there! You came to save me, right? I guess so. What do you think? Maybe we don't need to save everyone? Funny! Come on, get this thing off me and I'll give you some loot! I guess. <laughs> I knew you'd come! It's that skeleton shopkeeper with the golden cap! And the actual ghost peppers. Thank you for saving me! I'll give you a 5% discount on anything in my shop, valid for one week, starting next Tuesday. Can't you just wiggle out of those ropes? Yeah, it's not like you have any skin. Rude! You don't see me judging you on your epidermis. Because we have one. Anyway, you're free now. See you around, Boney. Yeah. <laughs> Skullmageddon is free again to wage war on high prices. Over here. I'm so glad you got here in time. They've got me wired up real good. Who is this guy? Yeah, pretty sure we never met him. What? It's me, Sunny Lee, the third double dragon brother. There's three of you? No way, I've played the games. It's Billy and Jimmy and that's it. And Sunny Lee. Just because I don't go on every adventure with those show-offs doesn't mean I'm not just as important. Actually, that's exactly what it means. Anyway, thumbs off. Have a nice life doing whatever you do. I'm gonna fight my way to the top. That's what. Doubt it. See ya. It's Kuniko. Oh boy, another one of our very best friends in the whole dang world. Oh hey, it's you two. What's up? We're here to get that bomb off your chest. There's a bomb on my chest? Yeah, you didn't notice? Sorry, I was too busy planning next week's food drive and EDM festival. Those things sound unconnected. <laughs> no way. Electronic musicians are all about feeding the hungry. We're also raising money to convert local abandoned nuclear plants into rainforest preserves. My college guidance counselor is gonna flip. Yeah, well, we removed your bomb, so now you won't die before your big event. You're welcome. Yeah, huh? Got it. What sort of cake says EDM and rainforests better? Red velvet or tiramisu? Later, Kuniko. Hey, it's you two. Kozuki, did you ever get into Sanwakai Tower? We're headed there right now ourselves. <sighs> Not yet, but apparently those guards have all left the street in front of the tower. So now's my best shot to get in there and break this story. Good luck trying not to get killed. You too! This is it. The final battle. You ready for this? Not really. I'm tired and my feet hurt. You? About the same. Let's go save the day so we can veg out on video games. Now you're talking. Looks like Sabako's already torn this place apart. Good for her. Don't kill him, Sabako. Y yeah, uh, listen to them, sis. I'm not going to kill you, little brother. Oh, thank God. Our family takes care of one another, even if we are not bound by blood. I, uh, I won't ever forget this, Sabako. Sorry to break up this cute family reunion, but no one's going anywhere. Yeah, we beat you both up before, and we can do it again. I feel confident that I could best you both in battle with minimal effort. However, why risk it? Your impulsivity was the perfect catalyst for my plan. Thank you, teenagers! Zabu family rule! Don't let them get away! Hurry, get us out of here! before those wretched teenagers get the best of us again. Do what the lady says. Hurry up. We can't let them get away. Attack the helicopter. Easier said than done. Let's head inside and end this. Yeah! 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 
more Yakuza. Lots more. Think we gotta beat them all up before we can reach Sabu? Only one way to find out. Wait, we're going down this time. Well, that's new. I thought this would end in the penthouse again. Guess not. Well, this is definitely very underground. Which way do we go now? Whichever way you like. It doesn't really matter. Welcome to my empire. Oh, we've been here before. Yeah, we kicked that backstabbing daughter of yours out the window. Huh. I heard. And now we're gonna do the same to you. But, like, not out the window since we're underground now. Oh, yeah. You've met my two children, but I'd like to introduce you to the rest of my family now. These are my new Yakuza soldiers. Stronger, faster, modified to kill anything I tell them without question or hesitation. Ladies, gentlemen, get rid of these two nuisances. We gotta find a way out of here. Don't bother fighting it. These modified Yakuza learn with each punch you throw. Eventually, you'll fall to them. I wish you'd eventually shut up! Huge bolted metal door. Ten bucks says Sabu's behind there. Eh, I don't have ten bucks. Can we just make a friendly bet? Sure. You'll never get inside here, though so you're welcome to try. Hey, check out those three wires. I wonder where they leak. Damn it, Ken! I thought you said you finished the security doors! Ah. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the last card. Let's bring them back to that skeleton and cash in on that smile. Ugh. Why let us in here? What now? That machine looks pretty expensive. Don't touch it! That is critical machinery! One machine down. I bet if we destroy all three, we can open that huge door. Another machine bites the dust. We're breaking things, and I love it. It won't mean anything. You're too late. Doctor, begin the process. But, sir, it's still not. I gave an order. Now do it. <sighs> yes, sir. See if that big door is open now. Come on in. <laughs> I'm ready for you. Another cat. Done yet? For now. I want to visit that cat cafe later. <laughs> hey there! You look pretty cool. Got any nachos? No? How about a VCR? Don't I know you from somewhere? Oh yeah! I'm gonna help you blow stuff up! Let's go! We got your cats, your many, many, many cats. Take them. Well, technically, they're not my cats. But once I get them back in the cafe, we're gonna have the most scrumptious, fabulous little kitty cat tea party you've ever seen. I'll bet. See ya, Mihoko. Save me some cuddles. I'll be back later. We found all your cards, I think. Yeah, they're pretty weird looking. Shouldn't they have hearts and diamonds on them? Ah, uh, yes. Well, aren't you adorable? And now, because you did find all my cards, you are owed a very special reward. Better not be that smile. That was a bonus. Here is your true reward. And please come back here anytime you could use some unnatural wares. I never thought it would come to this, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to defend my family and my empire, even if it means. Who's the glowing dude? And why is he like super ripped? I think it's Sabu, but like jacked up on coffee or magic or something. Your words have no effect on me. With this serum in my veins, my strength has been magnified to such a magnitude that... You think it's the dark arts? Like that creepy Amata kid? 
Hey, yeah, maybe. Unless it's just some old person thing. He is pretty old. Old people glow with magic? Excuse me. I'm trying to tell you about my master plan. It's very impressive. If you just listen for two minutes. I bet it's special effects, like in the movies. Oh, yeah, I saw a movie once. All kinds of stuff glowed in it. Oh, fine. Whatever. Let's just get this over with. I am unstoppable. This is impossible. I am unstoppable. Well, clearly that's not true. At least that serum seems to be wearing off. Yeah, you look a lot less glowy now, Mr. Sabu. This is just the beginning. I will make it my life's mission to destroy you, your friends, and everyone you've ever loved. I know where you live. I know where your mother lives. What did he say about my mama? Let's get this over with. Quiet! You will show the great Sabu and his family some respect before you die. I shouldn't have treated you so bad, Sabako. I'm sorry about that. No. I'm the one who is sorry, little brother. I should have been the mature one. No, no. It was all me. I started this whole stupid feud between us. I told Dad when you got beat up. It takes a strong man to admit when he's made a mistake. Now, as soon as Dad is done with those kids, we can get a new start as one big happy crime family. Where is Father? I wouldn't have expected his battle to last this long. Well, that was an adventure. Yep. I think we all learned something, though. About friends and family and standing up for what you... Jeez, enough yapping. Are you gonna take your turn or not? Sorry. Ooh, get him! Punch that vampire! BP2 is so much better than the first game. Doorbell. I'll get it. Huh? What are you two doing here? Did you really? 
really think we'd miss this adventure? Yeah, get up, losers. It's time for a rematch. But we already finished. Yeah, Sabu's beaten up, his empire is in ruins. The end. You idiot! I told you we should have come straight here. It was your idea to stop for smoothies on the way, Hasabe. You know I get low blood sugar, Mommy. Looks like we beat the game. So what now? You want to play through again? <laughs> You're on.